Hey folks, I'm making something really exciting today. I can't wait to try this. Uh, Lobel's of New York got in touch with me and they have a brand new cut of pot roast that they've actually trademarked. Their butchers have been uh, working on different uh, cuts and they came up with this one and it's actually called the Lobel's Wrangler USDA Prime Pot Roast. So this is the star of the show. This is a four pound pot roast, USDA Prime, and it's called the Wrangler. It's trademarked by Lobel's. And they actually sent me a recipe that they want me to try and they sent me a lot of the ingredients to go along with this that they want me to use in this uh, recipe. So they sent these this Malden sea salt and these this Malden brand uh, peppercorns. This sea salt is amazing. It's 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 a smoked sea salt and it's a flaky sea salt. Uh, so I'm I'm really interested to try these both these two, the peppercorns and the sea salt. And they sent me this Zoe extra virgin olive oil from Spain, and Lobel's barbecue sauce, Lobel's dry rub, and I'm really excited about this. This is a demi gloss, and uh, demi gloss is highly concentrated beef broth. This is frozen, uh, and it is, like I said, it's highly concentrated, and you use it like one to five ratio, so it's like one cup of this and then five cups of water, and you get like an incredible beef broth, and all natural ingredients and everything, so I'm gonna get everything portioned out. I've got vegetables that I'm gonna be using. I've got um, celery, bell peppers, uh, onions, garlic, so I'm gonna get everything prepped, ready to go, and then Let's get this started, and I can't wait to try this out. So please stay tuned. You will be amazed. Okay, now let's prep this uh, Prime, USDA Prime Wrangler pot roast. So I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of this uh, Zoe's, Zoe olive oil. On both sides. This is a gorgeous piece of meat. And then some of this Lobel's dry rub. And this stuff smells amazing. It's got, it actually has coffee, uh, quite a lot of spices. You can see there's a lot of red pepper flakes. So we're just gonna coat this. Not heavily, just, just you know, give it a good coating. It's not like you're gonna put this on the on the smoker or anything. You just want to give it give it some of that flavor. Oh man, I can really smell that coffee. That smells awesome. Coffee and beef go together so well. Coffee makes a really great rub. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there. For about an hour while I prepare the rest, get the veggies chopped, get everything going. Got the demi gloss already uh, ready to go, so stay tuned and uh, we'll see how this turns out. Pot is heated up. I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of this uh, extra virgin olive oil. And then Add the uh, pot roast. I'm just gonna browse this, sear this on all sides. Bit. This thing is big, that's four pounds. It smells amazing. I'll bring you back when I'm done searing this, and uh, we'll get on with the aromatics. So, stay tuned. Two to three minutes per side seared. We'll go ahead and turn this off, and then remove this to a platter. Man, it smells amazing. That's a big roast. Okay, 
still got some oil in there. That's great. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the veggies. I've got two sliced onions, two diced bell peppers, and three ribs of celery. Trinity. I'm going to wait to add the garlic. I'm going to sweat these veggies down. And I'll bring you back when these are ready and then we'll finish putting this together. Still got a few steps to go, so this is this next step, so stay tuned. Veggies are sweated down and I added the garlic. I'm just going to add some of this Malden sea salt. I'm going to crush this between your fingers because it's it's flaky. Should be enough for now. I can add more later. I'm going to add about uh, two two teaspoons of that Malden uh, black pepper. Give that a stir. Mm. I love that smell. Now I'm just going to return the pot roast to the pot right on top of the veggies. Pour in there, that, that juice. Okay, now I've got a cup of the Lobel's barbecue sauce and I've got four cups of that demi glace that I made into broth. I've got some extra over here if I need it, so I'm just going to pour this barbecue sauce right into the beef broth. Give that a stir. And then add this right to the pot with everything else. Reduce this down to a simmer, and this is going to go for two and a half hours. So stay tuned, and we still got some more to do. Pot roast has been in for two hours, and I checked the internal temperature. It's 190, and that is perfect. 185 to 190 is exactly what I was looking for. So now I'm going to take. Oh my goodness! It smells amazing. Now I'm just going to remove the pot roast to a uh, cutting board. And let this rest for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to slice it. And now right now I'm going to Get the uh, broth ready by making making kind of a gravy. We take a cup of this braising liquid. To this, I'm going to add a cup or two tablespoons of flour. Whisk this really good. I'm 
going to only add about half of this roux right now. Store that in. This sauce with this braising liquid. And bring that back up. Yeah. You know what? There's a lot of liquid in here. I know I'm going to need all this, so I'm going to I'm going to put all of this roux in. I've, I've done these types of things many times, and uh, I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to let this simmer, let this thicken, and then I'm going to cut that pot roast that I've tented over there with aluminum foil and put it back in. Pot. Just let it simmer for about another 20 minutes. So you definitely want to stay tuned for this, folks. Okay, pot roast is rested. The uh, nice gravy here. Just where I want it, I just want to taste it. It's a good bit. I want to add a little bit more of this. Mold and salt. This stuff's really cool. I've never actually worked with flakes like this before. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's probably from that, that rub. I, I did notice there was a lot of crushed red peppers in there. Good. Okay, on to the pot roast. Let's let's get this sliced up. I'm actually gonna flip this. This. and then I'll bring you back and uh, let's see how this thing is. So stay tuned for sure. 20 minutes simmering. Now it's time to eat. So let me turn this off. Mmm, smells amazing. Let's get some, some pot roast here. I'm just gonna get one piece. See how this tastes. Mm. 
Really didn't need the knife. That's a really good pot roast. I really like that recipe. It's got some great flavors going on there. It's definitely tender, very tasty, very beefy. Yeah. So definitely this this Lobel's Wrangler USDA Prime Pot Roast is very good. So there you have it, folks. Go try some. Go order order one and try it out and uh, see what you think. Thanks for watching.